Well, 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 another year, another WWE game, and another punch in the face. This is my opinion, so if you're going to get butt hurt by it, you may as well click off right now. Otherwise, voice your opinion in the comments yourself. The 2K24 trailer dropped today. I can't lie and say that I wasn't excited for the game because I get the wrestling games every single year. So of course I was excited. There was this little inkling in me this year thinking that they would do something and make me go wow i don't have to voice my opinion in any sort of way but i was wrong of course the collector's edition or the massive deluxe edition this year is the 40 years of wrestlemania edition now this is very cool once again it's just absolute disappointment now as you can see on the screen this is the cover art for the 40 years of wrestlemania edition as cool as this cover art is I cannot justify whatsoever getting this edition of the game. I'm not being funny, but cover art isn't a really a thing anymore. And I'm speaking for the majority rather than the minority that still buy disc copies of games. Yes, it is a very cool design, and I cannot lie whatsoever about that. I'm not trying to shit on 2K, okay? They just don't make me happy when it comes to the wrestling games. Here's the standard edition. It's Cody Rhodes on the cover. It's a pretty cool cover, but once again, the cover doesn't even matter anymore. Anyway, what do you get with the standard edition? Nothing. Of course not. It's the standard edition. All you get is the pre-order bonus. I've got to admit, it is better than last year because that was just Bad Bunny and that is trash. This year, you actually get, not great, I'm not going to lie, you get a Pharaoh Manager My Faction card, if you care about My Faction. You get Dusty Rhodes as a character in the game as well, which is pretty cool, but... I'm going to be honest, I'll never use him. I don't think other people would, but that's based on my opinion that I wouldn't use him personally, so don't take that with anything. Stardust, I'd never use him personally. Undashing Cody Rhodes, same again, I'd never use him personally. And Superstar Billy Graham, I would not use any of these personally. And then you get a Mattel Cody Rhodes bruise playable character, which is cool i guess it's better than bad bunny i've got to give it to them it's better this is okay because this is a pre-order thing this is for just buying the game if you pre-order it so this is fine this is pretty good in my opinion let's go into the deluxe edition so of course you get the pre-order bonus again the cover is pretty cool dual superstar cover i'm a fan but once again covers don't matter anymore the deluxe edition includes the season pass of course so if you are someone that in the nicest way stupid enough to buy the season pass this is the one for you in my opinion what else do you get you get the my rise mega boost i think these are pointless unless you want to save yourself some time and unless you're really into my rise personally i'm not so it's something i don't really care about the supercharger i don't even know what that is really so i can't talk on it it might be good it might not be my faction cards again they don't really matter because you won't use them eventually if you play my faction you'll want the top card so you won't use them Rhea ripley alt attire and bianca belair alt attire the fact that you have to pay money for an alt attire outright disrespectful disgusting so the only takeaway from the deluxe edition is the season pass realistically so the deluxe edition costs 90 pound or whatever currency you are in so if you like the season pass this is of course the best way of getting it without some sort of sale i won't get this either because season pass with WWE and 2K, they just make me angry and they're pointless because every time the season pass includes wrestlers that have either already been in the game before and we've been deluded enough to accept that they shouldn't be in the game already and the only time wrestlers should not be in the game are when they're in a different company. That's the only time. I understand that contracts run out and whatnot but they should never be taken out of these games to be brought back in years to come and accepted as if that's really done well by 2K. Honestly, if you're a CM Punk fanboy and you're excited to play as him in 2K24, I'm gonna say this with confidence. Now, I could be wrong and I'll, I'll take that hit if I am, but you're not gonna be able to play with him straight away. There's no chance. I do not believe you will because he came back at Survivor Series and this game has been in the making for like the whole year. They don't add people that close to the game release. Now, they can patch him in there and they might release him. If they do, fair play to 2K. They've done a good thing there for the, for the CM Punk fanboys. Genuinely, I think he will be included in their DLC pack, which is outrageous. Once again, it's outrageous. And I can be certain with that because Bray Wyatt, rest his soul, he came back and he was released as DLC. It's it's going to happen. I'm confident with it. 40 years of WrestleMania. So, of course, you get the deluxe edition stuff. You get the pre-order pack. But then, 
This is just disrespectful. It's disgusting that they get away with this and people will pay the money for it. This edition will cost you £105 to get the extra 40 years of WrestleMania content. What do you get? You get the Showcase Superstars roster unlock, which as far as I'm aware, I'm going to take this in the way, is that's just going to unlock every single superstar that the Showcase has that you can get anyway. So you're paying money to unlock something that you can already unlock with a bit of your time. The WrestleMania 40 Arena. Now this one is quite insane to be honest, because usually we only ever get the WrestleMania prior to the WrestleMania that is about to happen when the games release. So they're making you pay money to get WWE 2K25's WrestleMania Arena early essentially with that being the case next year would they only have the wrestlemania 40 arena or are they going to keep the trend now and have the right arena every year and make you pay for it which is outrageous attires pretty much you get superstar attires which will probably come as a separate character which again is ridiculous that you have to pay for these things when the whole mode is 40 years of wrestlemania so you get Macho King, Randy Savage from WrestleMania 6, Rey Mysterio, WrestleMania 22, Triple H, WrestleMania 30, Charlotte Flair, WrestleMania 33, Rhea Ripley, 36. Not even all of the cards of the above, two to three gold My Faction cards of the above. I'm guessing you don't get them all. That's worded a little weirdly, but this game annoys me so much. And then not to mention the trailer, they plastered it with new game modes of special guest referee and casket match. They're not new game modes. They're not new game modes. For anyone that's never played these before, that may be a bit younger, that never got the, the choice of playing these when they were in older wrestling games, you can say ignore it and let people have their fun, but this is outrageous that you can even say it's a new game mode because it's a returning game mode that should have been in the game since when it was last in the game. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, graphics-wise as well, there looks like there's no improvements. There's nothing good I can say, really. I'm hoping the showcase mode has more more matches than this year's as much of a fan of john cena as i am there wasn't enough of his career really there this is 40 years of wrestlemania i'm not being funny but there should be at least 40 matches one from each mania i can almost guarantee it again you probably won't get every single wrestlemania as a match you might get every single arena but i don't think you'll get every mania as a match i could be wrong so i'll take it on the head again if i am wrong but I don't think I will be. The CM Punk thing, I'm pretty guaranteed on that I'm going to be correct with that. I fall for it every year and I buy it every year because I have hope that something will be different. But their only way of difference is removing wrestlers, adding them back as paid DLC, removing game modes and adding them back in years to come to hope that people are excited for it. And people will be excited for it. A lot of people that get butt hurt by this are excited for it. I'm excited for it, but I'm annoyed that they were taken out and it's being plastered as new game modes the only new game mode we've had in years is war games and that wasn't even that fun for me personally i don't think you should get any of these other than the standard edition because i think season passes are a con and i think the 40 years of wrestlemania pack is a con because all those characters should be in the mode that were playing, not behind paid content walls. Do we not remember when collector's editions for the wrestling came with like pieces of the map and different actual physical things? And they would be cheaper than what they cost now. But that's all. That's all I've got to say. I'm not going to be the judge of what you decide to pick. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye.